Okay, so I'm ready to program my Volf MBF1801. I've got the handheld plugged into a programming lead, the same one that I used for my RD5R, and uh, I've got that plugged into the USB on the computer. And so now I'm going to go ahead and find the CPS program, BF1801, and there it is. So we've got the software opened up there. You turn the transceiver on, and you can hear that the computer's recognized that uh, the USB is plugged in. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and read this. Um, so there we are, we'll read the transceiver. Now I've tried this earlier when I was practicing for this video, and I've already um, uploaded a code plug to the Bofen. Okay, so this is the one that I was using on my own uh, DM860. As I say, they're interchangeable. Uh, since I've upgraded the DM860 to um, the open firmware, I no longer use this code plug. Let's have a little look at it. We can see, let's pick a channel. Um, for example, uh, the Brandmeister UK calling channel, or the 2350. This is how we've had to program it. Um, the frequencies you'll see in the boxes, uh, those are the frequencies of my hotspot that I use here at home. Okay, 1400, I've got the power level set to low because I'm just working through a hotspot locally in the house here, so I don't need to run any power. Um, you have to set um, a scan list with this software if you want to scan on DMR. Um, we've got um, also a receive group list. Again, if you don't set this up with the standard f uh, software and the standard firmware, then you won't be able to hear anything. And this is one of the advantages that the hacked open firmware has, is you don't have to bother with receive groups. I've got my color code set there. That emergency system is meaningless. Should actually be set to none. We'll put it to none there. And uh, the contact name is 2350 so that directs us to the correct talk group we have a list of digital contacts stored in the software here um, let's have a little look um, actually it's not there it's there digital contact and uh, these are all let's close that box these are all the contacts that we've got in this uh, particular code plug so they represent all of the different talk groups that we could use. So we've got our code plug. Um, if we were to modify it, well, we have slightly modified it. I've modified that drop down item now. So let's put the um, modified version back into the transceiver. So we click on right. And it's fairly quick, this. This uh, then writes the information to the um, 1801. And uh, we'll be good to go. Once that's finished, we just turn the transceiver off, turn it back on again, and uh, then I'll uh, show you what it looks like in action. We're uh, receiving some signals. There we are, we've got the message. It's all done. We can turn it off. And uh, next, we'll have a look at it on receive. And we'll see how it compares to uh, my own uh, DM860 with the modified firmware okay okay and here's another DMR radio this is a commercial radio it's a Motorola DM3400 it's a UHF uh, as I say commercial radio what I'm going to do here I'm going to transmit on this one I'm going to transmit into the the parrot or the echo talk group uh, we'll give it some audio and then we'll have a look at the uh, the two DMR handhelds and see how they how they react. Um, the handheld on the right you'll see in a moment is my own uh, DM860 with the uh, open firmware on it, the modified firmware. The one on the left is a DM1801 with a standard firmware. So let's go ahead and give a bit of audio on the Parrot Talk Group. A uh, one two three. This is GW zero KIG Golf Whiskey zero Kilo India Golf testing. KIG, 
Okay, so they reacted pretty much identically, as you'd expect. Um, so what we'll do next is we'll um, we'll pick a tour group. Or maybe we won't need to. Okay. Here we are. Now you'll see just uh, that gentleman gave us a call on uh, 2350, very conveniently. The transceiver on the right with the modified firmware came up with his call sign. The standard uh, Bayo Feng on the left, we'll see it again, uh, just comes up with um, a DMR ID. And this is one of the major advantages of the Open GD or Open DM1801 firmware is you don't have to upload any sort of call sign database to the transceivers. I'll just turn the volume down there. But you can see that one is showing the call sign of the station, uh, the other is just showing the DMR ID. Uh, neither of these transceivers uh, will accept a, a database upload, they haven't got the memory capacity to do so, so you can't load um, a DMR ID database onto them. I'm sorry about the reflections here. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Very difficult to get it to focus. But um, what you can do with this one, with the modified firmware, is you can use something called Talker Alias. And Talker Alias from the Brandmeister network picks up the call sign of the station that's transmitting and puts it up on the display for you so you get the call sign. This one, with the... Uh, the standard uh, Bofeng uh, firmware, uh, all it will ever do is to display the DMR ID of the station that's calling. So that's one, probably one of the most useful uh, features of the modified firmware. There are many others and I'll, we'll look at that uh, in the next video. But that's just to give you a little idea of the comparison between the two and uh, why I prefer the uh, the modified firmware.